How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about a theory that I came up with so that you can multiply your money by about 10x in the long term. This video is brought to you by Webull where they're running a new promotion where if you open up an account and deposit at least $5 now, not $100 anymore, you can get two free shares of stock. The first stock for opening up your account is going to be valued between $3 and $300. The second stock where you deposit some amount of money over $5 is going to be valued between $8 and $2,000. So you're going to get a chance to get some really huge stock. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. This is Iris, by the way. She really, really likes me. Uh, go sit, sit. So I live pretty low key. I don't spend a lot of money myself. You could say that on an ongoing basis, I spend about $1,500 every month. So this works out to be about $50 every single day. This includes health insurance, property tax, HOA, all the utilities, all the food that I eat. So basically everything, if I don't do excessive amounts of travel or anything, or I don't buy a whole bunch of electronics, those things are not included. If I buy a drone like I just did, I bought an FPV drone, it's gonna cost me about, about $1,300 or so. So these kind of add on to my total cost. You're looking at probably another five to $10,000 a year. So it's $18,000 a year plus another 10K or so. So this gives you an idea of my burn rate, which is incredibly low, but then I still have a huge cash of investable assets. I've been thinking of it in this really weird way. I barely need any money to spend. It would still be nice if I earn maybe like 100K per year, every single year for the next 10 years or so. So where do I do this? Maybe I can put 100K of some kind of investment that would 10X from here on out. So 10X of 100K is a million dollars, right? So. Where do you do something like this? You can invest, you know, long term, dollar cost average, put money into S&P 500. Don't ever try to time the market and you might get probably like 10% compounded every single year. But my thinking here is if you look back at some of the stocks, some of the FANG stock, maybe Tesla or whatnot, if you look back 10 years, which is a significant amount of time, the big name stocks, they definitely did 10x. Some did even 15x, not so good a stock, maybe did 5x, but even stocks that didn't do so well, they increased fivefold. So I understand that it's really hard to pick a stock that would 10x. And I'm just probably cherry picking here because if I go, oh yeah, look at Amazon. Look at Google, look at Tesla, you know, those are the ones kind of like in hindsight, you know, did very well. But if you're thinking about in like a really long term, this 10 year term, if you have this frame of mind where you're gonna invest for that long, I personally feel like the risk goes down dramatically versus if you're trying to invest for the very short term for like a month or two, you never know where the stock is gonna go. I have historically tended in the past to try to invest for one to two years or so. So I put my money in, it went up two, three fold, you know, like Tesla. And then I'm like, oh, okay, you know, this is good enough. I'm gonna sell. So I think me being in this semi-retired state, not needing a lot of money um, and also have enough to invest so that I can go, hey, you know, if I invest, it can fully pay for my living costs going into the future and then some, then you think of investing in a slightly different way. Let me take for example, what happened here with Dogecoin. Check out my position over here. I invested, I don't know, so far in there, it's about $65,000 or so. Some people might say I lost a lot of money here. Uh, because it did go up to five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars. But right now, I am still at a gain of one hundred fifty-one thousand on a sixty-five thousand dollar investment. So this is plus two hundred thirty-two percent just within the last two months or so. I'm sitting here really pretty. It's like, oh my gosh, I I earned enough just you know just a few months of the year for an entire year of what I kind of want to earn. If my net worth has increased by 100K, I'm, I'm, I would be happy. That is probably part of the reason why I haven't been making as many videos. I just didn't want to grind as hard. I've been living my life a little bit more, you know, going camping, doing stuff. And let me skip over all that personal stuff, right? So Dogecoin is one of 
the things I hold. And I'm going to talk about a few more stock positions that I hold. So let me bring this up over here, which is in my retirement accounts. As you can see, I hold Coinbase after it kind of dropped down a little bit. I bought into it. My current position right now is up about 4%, $1,800. It fluctuates, you know, like one time I saw it at 0%, you know, so this is, I feel like a really medium term. I, I wouldn't think that I'm going to hold on to Coinbase for like 10 years, but um, I'm trying to think of it, uh, all these investment this way. It's like, okay, what can I buy? I'm going to buy 100K worth of this and I'm going to have a really long time horizon thinking, okay, I want to make 10x on this. This is a lofty goal because in 10 years, I, right now I am about, what, 40 years old. So in 10 years, I'm going to be 50 years old. And if this materializes, which I think it has a really good chance of doing, especially when you're looking at a long-term goal here. Stocks are very, very volatile short-term, but long-term, somehow I feel like the risk factor drops dramatically. I'm going to put 100K in. Maybe it's going to turn to a million dollars. I'm going to, you know, it's going to be making a hundred thousand dollars every single year. So basically I don't have to work. I can just sit back and feel like, Hey, I'm still making six figures without doing anything, only invested in something. Now, if you only have a hundred thousand dollars, you probably don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You don't want to put it all in Tesla, put it all in Coinbase or whatnot. So I'm doing this multiple times to sort of reduce my risk. So if you do it 10 times, right? So you put in a million dollars, you cut it into 10 pieces and a hundred thousand dollars into each one. And let's say nine of them goes to zero, which is, I think it's very, very unlikely that it goes to zero, but one of them goes to uh, 10 X, then you essentially broke even, but I don't think it's like this. My view on this is if you are sort of wise, you know, don't buy any kind of, you know, really, really risky penny stock or anything, buy some blue chip stock that are, you know, relatively uh, mid to large cap type of companies. And, you know, in 10 years from now, maybe it's going to double, you know, at worst case, I feel like it's going to double still or like five X, right? So for the really good stuff, Steve job type of company like Apple or something, you're going to look to like about 10 X gain, 15 X gain, 20 X gain even. So these are the companies I'm looking at. And I think Coinbase realistically, I think it's going to do like five X. Okay. Within 10 years, I don't think it's a 10 X company, but you know, it's really hard to find a company that will do 10 X. So my next investment is Tesla. So I bought 200 shares of this. So let's ignore what I bought before. I made some money on Tesla, uh, 20K in, 80K out. So I made 60K. So now I'm back. I still think they have a lot of room to run, especially with the EV ramp up. They're going to sell more and more, blah, blah, blah. You might say that their share price is incredibly high for a car company, but I, you gotta look at Tesla as a technology company. So I bought in at around $600, 200 shares of this. Total input cost is about 120K. I bought this about, about a month or two ago, and I've so far made about um, $12, thousand dollars so this is an unrealized gain but a pretty good gain so let me jump over to the next thing that i bought this is not in my retirement account sometimes when i buy stuff in my retirement account uh it would be more short-term stuff because then i don't have to pay any capital gains so brk is in actually interactive broker so i talked about this brokerage site a long time ago and if you're interested in signing up for this I do have a referral link. Once you sign up for this, and I believe you deposit 100K or more, then you're gonna get credited within about one or two months or so, um, IBRK shares of $1,000. So you're gonna get 1% just added in. And you can see here, I hold $815 of IBRK and also close to 100K of Berkshire Hathaway B shares, which is a lot cheaper than their A shares. B shares are actually, $289 or so. So 
I'm actually at a unrealized loss of $4,000 or so. The $1,000 of IBKR shares, interactive broker shares, used to be $1,000. I probably got awarded the shares at a peak. So if you sign up now, you're still gonna get $1,000 worth of IBKR shares and it probably would be more valuable going forward if they kind of you know, come back up in price. Of course, I don't know if it's going to or not. I missed out on the rebound of the technology shares right after the COVID scare. But um, I'm not too sad about it because my overall net worth is up significantly thanks to Dogecoin, thanks to a little bit from Tesla. I just look at the overall net worth. Sometimes I have wins, sometimes I have losses, but as long as my net worth is kind of trickling up a little bit, you know, even if it's 100K a year, which is significant because a lot of people, they make 100K, they spend, you know, even if they're really good savers, they might, you know, save half of it, right? Your net worth is not gonna jump up by 100K every single year. So for me, if it goes up by that much every single year, I am in the happy spot. So when you think of it long-term, you might invest in a different style. So if it drops 20, 30%, you're gonna go, ah, you know, I'm looking at it long-term it probably will rebound, come back up, and then come back up with a vengeance. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my referral link for Weeble down in the video description below. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>